Namaste programs and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're starting a brand new bush trip. I believe it's called... It's in Utah? Possibly? From Unalaska. Oh, it's Unalaska to Cuckoo Lake. And this leg is Unalaska to Yucatan. So bush trips. A stunning tour through the bush territories of the Alaska Peninsula. It's not Utah at all, it's Alaska. From the far reaches of the Aleutian Islands, weave through the mountain ranges and volcanic peaks, follow glacial rivers and pools, and find your way up the icy coastline of the state known as the Last Frontier. And we're to next cub again. All right, uh, 1,300 kilometers, six hours, 12 legs. Leg one, 19 minutes. Let's get going. All right, and we're off. Let's go. No parking brake on this plane, apparently, or at least for the beginning. So our first leg is 074, 1 minute 42. All right, I'm going to actually loop around so that we're getting... Look at this landscape. What time are we? We're at 12 p.m. midday, local time. Okay, all right. Let's start turning back around. And head back over the runway if we can. How far away from the runway are we gonna be? Not too far, we're pretty good. Let's uh let's get over the center of the runway, start off our trip correctly. And then we want 74 for 142. Let's start our clock. We're heading to Humpy Cove. Welcome to the Aleutian Islands, the starting point on your Grand Alaskan tour. From the runway at Unalaska Airport, take flight and head northeast across Dutch Harbour. If you pass around Mount Coxcomb in the distance, Summer Bay Lake should come into view. Continue beyond the lake to the shoreline of Humpy Cove just beyond it. And I've just realized that the green line is not what I want. I want 74. I'm not paying attention. It's this way. Where am I going? Good start here. Good start. Oh, we don't have the purple line anymore. Is that something I can set? Probably not. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it old school. All right, well, we're going to have our timings off a bit. We're heading to a lake, around a mountain, and then into a lake. Really, we're going to be over to the right here. Is this a lake? I don't think so. Looks very much just like an inlet. Oh, that's considered a lake? That's the lake over there, maybe. All right. Must be a way of getting... No, not what I want. Not what I want. Hmm. Got autopilot, really? You should come here beyond continue beyond the lake to the shoreline of Humpy Cove. I feel like I should be over there. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The uh, green line confused me. Hmm. We're on the VOR. Wonder why. Maybe they fixed that. Maybe they felt people following the purple line was uh, was cheating. Let's uh, trim down. Is this the one that's like 11%, 13, something like that? The level flight. I'm going to assume this is Humpy Cove. I may be completely wrong, but that's the lake there. Uh, the airport was... No, that's not the airport. It's a different airport. Is it? Weird. Okay. 
No, that is a different airport. All right, cool. All right, so now we want 100 degrees for 1 minute 39. Hopefully, I found my way. We shall soon find out. 100 degrees, restart our clock. For 1 minute 39. Alright, Agamic, Agamic Bay. Adjust northeast again. No. Following the shoreline of Humpy Cove, make your way southeast, heading over the hills and past Camp Kwangayuk towards Agamic Bay on the opposite shoreline. Okay. Hopefully, I will see a Camp Kwangayuk. Continue seeing as if we can find how to turn the purple thing on. Ah, that's cool. Direct course menu. I know there was a... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I thought there was a weird shadow. I know on another plane I've managed to do it, but I don't remember what button I pressed. In? No. Don't know. I don't remember. I've got 30 seconds. Why is this on? It's not on. Why has it got an autopilot on a bush trip? So, oh, what was I looking for? But we're about right, so towards Agamic Bay on the opposite shoreline. You think that's it over there? Maybe? Have I passed Camp Kwang Yanyuk or whatever it was? I'm not seeing it. Alright, well, uh, head north end of Agamic Bay, look for a creek running inland from the northern shore. Okay, so uh, 40 degrees for 124. too much. So, restart our clock. English Bay. Adjust northeast again and head over Nagamic Bay. Look for a creek running inland from the northern shore and follow it all the way into the water of English Bay. I mean, there's a creek there, uh, but the creek's not taking me to a bay. And this is another bay here. This could be English Bay, I suppose. For some reason the clock didn't reset. Oh, we have it. We're beset. We're beset with troubles on this one. What a good start. Okay, well, the good news is, I think this is English Bay. They may not be correct, but we shall soon find out. But the next instructions seem to match what I'm seeing here, so... Where are we? English Bay. Okay, so, reset our clock. We're now doing 37 degrees for 2 minutes and 4 seconds. To Unalga Island. Continue of English Bay and beyond the land protrusion known as Fisherman's Point. That looks like it might be what's in front of me there. Then cross the waters of Unalunga Pass to reach Unalunga Island. And there's an island there. It's possible it's that island over there, but you know. I think we're doing okay. I think we've I think we're doing okay. I have a good feeling about it. I may be completely wrong. But we shall see.
It must be. Yeah, you can see that the. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's take this time to see if we can. We need to lose a little bit of speed. Too much RPM. Where else would. I be able to click. Ah. There we go. CDI source FMS. Let's do that. And we're following the poise of interest. Excellent. Nailed it. We've now got our Lord and Savior Purple Line back. All hail Purple Line. We had missed you. We had missed you. Right, we're about 30 seconds out. I don't, we're not going to hit the island in time, so I'm going to wait till we get to the island rather than wait and turn at 2 minutes 4 seconds. Yeah, because it wants the next leg wants me to go to the other side of the island, so. We will turn when we reach the island. Look at the colours of this. You know, you think of Alaska, you think of snow, but. I had no idea it was so pretty. Good stuff, Alaska. The only place in America that I've ever been. I once had a stop, you know, just a transit stop, on the way to Europe from Australia, over the top of the world, and we stopped at Anchorage Airport. I went outside to see how cold it was, went back inside, and that's my, uh, never left the airport. That's my entire uh, experience of having set foot on American soil. Never actually been to the old US of A, or any of the Americas. About nearly at the island. I don't know how that could have possibly been two minutes and four seconds unless we were going at warp speed. Look at this island with those little lakes and things. Weird. What is Alaska? Is it volcanic? Alright, and now we're resetting. Start clock. Opposite shoreline, 48 degrees, 1 minute 40 seconds. As you traverse Unalga's bumpy pockmarked terrain, head for the northeastern shore, where the island opens up to Baby Pass. Right, here we go. We're on course. We're getting to the other side of the island. Soon be at the opposite shoreline. Hmm, I just don't know what causes these islands. Is it tectonic plates smashing to each other or uh, volcanoes or both or what? I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about Alaska geography. I'm sorry, Alaskans. Okay, uh, now we want 44 degrees for 3 minutes 50. To the Akutan Island. Amidst the waters of Baby Pass, find your way over the rocky Baby Islands towards Cape Morgan at the tip of larger Akutan Island in the distance. Is that an island over there? I guess it is. Look for two bays separated by a rocky promontory and head to the wider bay known as Broad Bight. Good old Broad Bight, huh? No civilization on any of these islands. Lovely to see, lovely to see. Pristine, natural. 
Nice beach there though. Get on a boat and have a look at that. Okay, I see two bays separated by a rocky promontory, yes. Head to the wider bay. So this is broad bite here. A bay rocky promontory. Rocky Promontory. The new film in the Rocky franchise. Terrible joke. I am ashamed. I am ashamed and apologize unreservedly. Alright, about halfway there. About halfway there. Not quite. The algorithm's having a bit of an issue with the water on the edge of that mountain there, but hey, we'll allow it. We do so love the algorithm, or hail the algorithm. Such beauty, such splendor. Yeah, yeah, looks great. Amazing, amazing. This is going to be a good bush trip. Well, they've all been good so far, so, yeah. I think the Balkans one so far has been the best one, really. The Utah one, which I haven't put on the channel, which I may one day, if I do it again, to try and get the achievement, was pretty good, pretty good. Lots of interesting things to look at. Um, you know, towns and mountains and rivers and valleys and all of this. Uh, Patagonia was beautiful, but, you know, it's all just mountains and water. It looks like this one might be the same. Sometimes you just want to see a little bit of civilization to break up the... the scenery a bit. And the Patagonia one was, yeah, the Mediterranean Baltic Sea there is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Plenty of stuff to look at. We go we should be arriving at the bay now nearly above it there we go 113 no 013 for three minutes and one second we've overshot it to hot springs bay rise along the slope of the broad bite and as the form of mount akutan grows larger before you Oh, that's it over there. As you pass around its eastern side and over a low ridge, your path will lead to Hot Springs Bay. Roger, roger. That must be Mount Akutan over there. I assume, if the island is named after it.
Hmm, so, we've got Hot Springs Bay. I don't think it's this one. I think it must be the one that's over, judging by the timings here. We are halfway to three minutes. Well, we are halfway to three minutes now. Oh, a little man-made circular thing there. What's going on there? A little a harbour, I guess. And a bit of civilization over there. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Oh, well, unless that's the hot springs. Well, it's still another minute before we're turning, so I think we'd be over that hill by then. So Hot Spring Bay must be that bay over there. Wow. wonder what that's for. I, I, I guess it's a harbour, but... I mean, the whole bay's already a harbour, right? Must be to... Don't, don't know. Don't know what that could be. Maybe it's some kind of... Uh, fish pond or something that they grow fish in. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's Alaskan salmon farming. Okay. Well. That's either Hot Springs Bay there or maybe that little, this little alcove here. Look at this sort of valley ridge. I don't know what you call it. All right, well, we're turning. 84 degrees for 3 minutes 59. We are heading to Akun Airport. Head out of Hot Springs Bay and make your way around the outcropping of, outcropping of Ridge Point just to the east. Once past the point, continue east over Sandy Cove and along the shoreline towards Aquin Island in the distance. On the island's southwestern shore, your first destin awaits, destination awaits Akutan Airport. Excellent. Marvellous. Three minutes, so four minutes basically. Done 30 seconds. I cannot... Is that... Yes, I think that's the airport there, maybe. Although it does seem to be directly in front of me. How do I get rid of this now? There we go. How do I just have the map? Map. Map. There we go. Maybe that is the airport uh, in front. Yeah, I think it is. It, it does look like a, a runway. I think we should probably lose a bit of height. And speed and get our flappies down. Yeah, no, okay, so we've got a lake and then a thing, a lake and a thing. It doesn't seem to quite match up with my nose. My nose is pointing at the airport, but this one's pointing over here. That does not seem correct to me, but hey, who am I to argue? Let's get our flappy weppies down. The flappy weppies are now down. We're going to need some more power. And we shall try to get it online here. Bit too much power. Bit too much power. We've got picked up too much speed. We are in danger of destroying the flaps. There we go. Get back down to under 70. Gradually make our way towards the airport. A 
Speed wise, I think we're doing pretty well. Looks to me like we're going to land directly where we need to. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit short. Let's give it a little bit more power. This is the best part of the calm landing. Bring it back down just a bit. Thank you, plane. Always good to hear from you. As always. Well, I think we're probably pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more power, because there's a little bit of a hill just before the runway. There we go. Give it a bit of a boost. Now we should be uh, pretty much spot on, I reckon. little bit extra there we go now we can drop the speed start flaring and land the aircraft start putting on the brakes try not to topple forward there we go will it register leg one of the Alaskan bush trip complete uh hope you enjoyed that hope you can catch me for the next one i'll see you then au revoir goodbye